I always get a kick out of, on the first day of class, I introduce myself as, hey, I'm Mark State, and I'm a professor of marketing. Um, I was a Southern United States history major. So I was a liberal arts major in college. And a lot of times the students sort of look at me like, well, how did you get a job with that? And then I say, well, it's easy. I learned how to read, I learned how to write. And then I was able to sort of turn that into a marketing career before I got my PhD. Um, and so, but a lot of students, particularly business students, are first generation students. And I have a lot of respect for those students. Um, my father was a first generation college student and he did his undergraduate major in business. So I, you know, I, I, I think about my father a lot. When I, when I work with these students. And I understand one of the issues with first generation students in particular is, is um, a fear that they lack the cultural capital to get into the, into the workforce. And so I try and create a comfort level to acquire that capital. And I also try to help them acquire that capital on their own, not just through the blogs, but specifically through the certifications that I, that I have. And I've had multiple, multiple students, particularly first generation students, say that they've gotten these jobs that they never expected to get before they took my class. And it was the certifications that really gave them this capital that allowed a firm to say, you know what, I wanna hire her. And so that has been a really, really um, gratifying part of the way that the class works is that, again, similar to the blog, I, I, I want the work that the students do to reflect on themselves outside of Western, outside of the classroom, so that someone can see, oh, oh, this person knows Google Ads. Oh, this person knows Google Analytics. Okay, cool. That's something I don't have to teach this person if I were to hire him. They already know it. And so that get, so you know, it doesn't matter who their parents are, it, it's who they are and now they have this cultural capital within the digital marketing sphere that is really, really valuable. Issues of representation are really important to me. And so I really, I, I try to be strategic about who I ask to do the Hangouts because I wanna make sure that every student in the class sees someone who reminds him or herself about him or herself at some point during the quarter. And so that's really great because there's, you know, they got, they're not got enough professors like me. Um, but then the other thing that's been really great is the students, when they graduate, they'll come up to me and they'll say, you know what, Mark, I gotta say, one of my dreams is to one day get an email from you about doing a hangout. I'm here to talk about how the Google Hangouts that happen in Mark's digital marketing class actually helped me as a marketer as well as an MBA student. So when I was in my undergraduate degree in the digital marketing course, um, I heard about this Google Hangout thing that he did that pretty much brought in industry professionals within the marketing sphere to come and talk about the topics we were actually discussing in class on a, on a business perspective, which gave me kind of this insight about what was going on in the industry that you would not hear uh, from just talking to a teacher or reading a book. So specifically, throughout the entire time, it was really cool seeing the people come in and uh, kind of talk to us via Google Hangouts about their lives. And it kind of gave me an incentive in the future to be that marketer that Mark calls on in the future to be in those Hangouts because it just seemed so highly coveted. Um, it looked really cool and it looked like he was very proud of where his students had ended up in the future. Um, and specifically within one period of time, I found um, that we were learning about analytics via uh, Google Analytics. And there was a person who worked at Nike, his name was Brian, and I reached out to him just after he gave his presentation about pretty much just business analytics in general, especially at Nike, and asked him for some help about the application process. And he has guided me 100% through the process, giving me insight about recruiters and understanding kind of, of how Nike corporate works. And in general, that has helped me really decide that my career is gonna go in an analytical marketing direction. And so it creates this community. Uh, I used to actually say that, um, I used to have different hashtags for each quarter, but then I kind of lost track of which quarter I was in. So, um, so now there's just the hashtag WWDigimark. And, and you can see the students, the former students, following that hashtag to see what the current students are. And it just creates this community beyond the classroom that I think is really great. <laughs>